claw machines. You find them everywhere. Your favorite diner, the mall, heck, even the grocery store. So let's see what this pint-sized claw machine has to offer and what interesting little tiny things we can put in it and try to win. Let's do this. How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're going to be looking at The Claw. Now this is an as seen on TV. It says hot new electronic arcade game for the home. Now I'm really excited to try this out because what I want to do is I want to take some of my retro Pokemon toys and I want to put them in here and see if we can't pick some of them up and uh, kind of see, you know, if it will work or not, you know, be able to pick them up and do it like you do, you know, in like a place with an actual claw machine. So let's go ahead and turn it to the side real quick so we can get a good look at uh, some of the depictions of it. It shows us using some uh, candy right here, like uh, some Hubba Bubble or something like that. It's so much fun. Once you start, you just can't stop. It says you can fill it with any prize, such as candy, gum, or toys. It has multiple knobs on the side that you can also use. It says three joysticks control the claw up, down, left, or right. And then we have kind of a similar depiction on the back. And then another one right here as well. It says that it's going to take some batteries. Right here it says uh, battery compartment. It says that it's going to need D batteries. Install three D batteries as indicated on the diagram below. So I'm going to have to scour for some D batteries first of all, but I do think that I know where some are. So let's go ahead and grab those batteries and then open this guy up and see what it's all about. All right, I got myself some D batteries. So let's go ahead and move those out of the way for now. Now let's go ahead and open this guy up. Hopefully everything's already assembled so I don't have to do anything like that. So, just pull off the top. And there we go. We have the entire thing out of here. Looks as though we have the forwards and backwards, the left and right, and then the up and down. It says it also is supposed to come with some little tiny plastic coins. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find those in the box. Okay, so at the bottom right here, if we turn this down, if we open this up, it actually has the plastic coins in here. We probably could use uh, dimes as well, or maybe nickels. There we go. Now we're just going to pop off the battery cover and throw in these D batteries. And throw this cover back on. So as you guys remember, I have these Pokemon toys from my last video. Let's go ahead and load these guys up into here and see if we can't pull some of them out with the claw machine. Alright, so I had to cut out a lot of footage. So basically what happened is I had to take the bottom off and disconnect the speaker because it was just so unbelievably loud playing carnival music that I just couldn't record with it and it was just bad. Another thing I had to do is I had to stick my finger in here and separate the claw hinge because the claw itself was stuck together due to the plastic kind of setting into itself. Um, but after I did that it seems to open now. And then I loaded it up with these uh, Pokemon toys, as you probably saw in the previous footage, hopefully. And uh, now we're going to do its first actual test. So let's go ahead and see if we can get something out of this. And uh, yeah, let's do it. I have some plastic coins. I'm going to pop it in. And now let's see if we can get that Growlithe right here. Go down. And up. No. What about some other ones? Let's go ahead and move around. It 
Hey, looks like I got a two for one. Nice. Oh, the other one didn't fall. Looks like I just got a Hitmonlee instead. But that's so cool. I can actually pick stuff up. So that's that's actually really nice. So I got a Hitmonlee right here. And uh, it'd be interesting to see like what else we can get inside of this thing. But yeah, I was able to get a Pokemon out of it. And I really think that this is actually pretty unique now that I was able to fix all of the quirks that I kind of had with it. A little bit of annoyance setting it up and whatnot. But now that it is actually up and running, it's pretty fun to mess around with. And it'd be cool if we wanted to, like, you know, put some snacks in there or something. But the only thing is, is getting them out after, since I don't really see a way of removing the top or the side panels. So if you put some candy in there, it might have a bad time if the candy starts to get old and you can't grab it with the cloth. It gets in a bad spot. But, you know, you can always shake it around and then uh, see if you can't just, like, pour it and upside down and pour it down into there. So... All right, I think that this was a pretty much a success in the end, but a uh, huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.